Okay, let's start with the biggest guy. This is Stripe. You might have seen him on my channel. I've put up a few videos of him now. My Brazilian white knee. So I'm just going to drop in a super worm. Yep. He's nearly always hungry. Or she. I'm hoping it's a she. She's nearly always hungry. And one of my favorites. Of course, the biggest one in the collection is nearly always going to be your favorite. So yeah, that's Stripe. And I... Yeah, I think one will do her for now. Her abdomen is quite big. So we're going to move on to the next tarantula. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so let's move on to the second largest tarantula. And we're going to try and lure this guy out. This is my Lassiodora parahibana. No, I can't see anything yet. I did have a look in and it seemed to be near the back of its burrow. Come on, you hungry? Maybe in pre mode also, I'm not sure. <laughs> the super worm had grabbed onto a big heap of webbing, so I don't want that. You have a look in. Oh, yeah, he's in there. Oh, so let's. You can see the tarantula there. That is my LP. Oh. I'm not sure where the super worm has gone. I think just to the left of the coconut shell. There we go. There she is. Possibly in pre mode. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, spider number three. This is my second Brazilian white knee. And lately it hasn't really been a great eater. But I'm going to try and give it a cricket as I think it was being a bit finicky with the mealworms. Drop it here. Oh, yeah, it definitely prefers the crickets. Yep, and that is my smaller A geniculata. So cute. So, it seems it doesn't like mealworms because it rejected them the last few times I offered them. So, it looks like it got the better of me and I gave in and gave it the juicy cricket. So there you go buddy, enjoy that and we will move on to the next tarantula. Oh, little happy dance. Ooh. On to the next tea. So next up is going to be my third largest tarantula. This one is really putting on size quick. This is my P. Cambridge or Trinidad Chevron. And I've started actually feeding it super warm so I should really start to see it flying up in size. So, usually a great eater. I'll drop this in here. Yeah, and there he grabbed it. You might have just seen the quick flash of green feet. That is the Trinidad Chevron. Now we can see him on the side here. He has webbed it up quite a bit though. So I'm really happy to see that it can take down super worms without an issue. Yeah, there he is. So, and as you can see, he's webbed up his enclosure nicely as well. So now we'll move on to the next tarantula. So 
So I was going to feed this little guy another unidentified sling that I got in a mystery box. As you can see, it seems to have little red markings on the legs. So I'm starting to think it could be maybe a Brachypelma auratum. But I'm still not sure. So if anyone in the comments section has an idea, as you see, there's the the molt. So I won't be feeding this one today as it still looks quite fresh. So I'm just going to add in some water to its enclosure and I move on to the next tarantula. So the special edition, of course, is this true spider that I have, which is a domestic house spider here in Ireland. And I'm going to actually offer it a cricket. Oh. Drop the cricket in. I seem to take a bite out of him, but... Not sure. I might just leave him and see will he feed on him, and if not, I'll just remove the cricket. Yep, but that's my domestic house spider. Cool little true spider. But let's move back to the tarantulas. Now, so this little guy is my smaller Lassiodora parahibana. Hard to believe that it'll someday grow up to be a huge salmon pink bird eater. But they all start off this small. Usually he's a great eater, so I'm just going to drop in a small cricket. Yep, he grabbed him. Again, I was really happy to get these pinhead crickets. Just to kind of give the tarantulas a treat and a break from mealworms. I really think they enjoy the crickets more. So, there he is. Can't wait for him to grow up and get to the size of a dinner plate. <laughs> so let's move on to the next guy. So, the next tarantula is actually an unidentified sling I got in a mystery box. Now it usually doesn't eat very well, but I'll drop in a small cricket and we'll see. It looks like he's run away from it as usual. I usually don't feed crickets to this guy because I usually can't get any mini ones. So I'm not sure how he'll react to a cricket. I think it might actually be interested, which would be a big surprise. Oh, oh, nice one. I was hoping when I got these mini crickets that I might be able to get some of my slower eaters to eat more regularly. That's excellent. I'm really happy to see this little dude eating. As I said, it's an unidentified sling, so I'm going to have to wait till it gets older. But really happy to see it eating. Okay.